So here are some things that I want to talk to you about today. And I just keep my notes because it keeps me focused. But I have here five points. And I just write these down sometimes. And then when I have time to share them, I do. But it's just five things that I say um, to invest and to leave the past behind. Um, I'm on a journey to, I, I, I want to slim down a little bit more. And I know most people look at me and be like, oh, but you're small enough. Well, I listen to Kevin Samuels. Now, some of y'all do, some of y'all don't chew at me, it's about the bones. But if 80% of black women are overweight and 80% of them are obese, I look smaller in the scheme of things, but I'm not at a weight where I'm comfortable with. And I just really need to drop about 10, maybe 15 pounds, maybe 10. I'm a dress size 10, but I want to be a little smaller. And um, so it's it's just been one of those things where I'm reading comments from women and one that stuck out was a woman that was like 46, maybe 42. And her husband left her for 26 year old. And that's all she could say. My husband left me for a younger woman. I'm thinking, well, did he leave you, you think like for how she looked or did she, he leave you for like you just didn't have that femininity? I don't know, but I will tell you that these are some things that can help you leave the past behind. Um, I don't pretty much know any woman that hasn't been cheated on at least once. I was cheated on, the father of my three children cheated on me. Um, we were young and that was my, that was my kind of, oh, okay. But his whole family was cheated. Like, put his business out there like that, sorry y'all. <laughs> but since then, you know, there are certain things that you have to do to just, just, just make sure that you're um, at a level 10 in your relationship, right? But also leaving the past behind if they were cheaters, um, if you were heartbroken, if you were um, the man turned out to be gay, if you know you took care of a man, you picked a dusty, you picked the wrong partner, picked the wrong, selected the wrong spouse, what I like to say now. But we all been hurt, sis. Listen, we all been there. Oh, this video is for my women over 40 that um, are single or divorced with children that want to attract the love they desire and deserve. So one I'm gonna give you is invest in therapy. If you want to leave the past behind, invest in therapy. I have a therapist, I have a life coach, I have a spiritual coach. Um, I also have someone that gives me some direction um, in terms of, I'd say, sometimes in astrology and such, but like I invest in a lot of help. And I was telling my grandma about it. And she was like, that's so good. Yeah, because I want to be healthy. And not just from a relationship standpoint, leaving the past behind. But there are childhood trauma things that I've gone through that I need to make sure that I've worked through. And then there's just challenges I'm having with other family members. There's some dysfunctional things going on. And my therapist today was like, every family is dysfunctional. <laughs> every family has a level of dysfunction. It's like we all kind of think our dysfunction is unique and it's not. It's so hilarious. Um, the second thing with the leaving the past behind is, is we often have to let go. Um, there may be friends you need to let go of. There may be some sentimental things you need to let go of. We cleaned out my apartment, my Superman. I, my mommy was there and I was, I like literally had cards from 20 years ago, journals. I had to just let that stuff go, literally. So I wrote these actually points weeks and weeks ago, but now I'm going through them like, oh yeah. So there are some things in life that we're holding on to and you know what they are, whether it's jewelry, whether it's um, stuffed animals, whether it's books, just some things I've had to let go. Even when I knew that this was going to be serious and I kind of just knew where it was going, I dropped my uh, married name and went to my maiden name. And you know, that, I, that was it. I didn't have to do that because I'm going to be getting married, but I just didn't, I didn't want it. I was like, yeah, let it go. Next thing is learning to be vulnerable. So I say vulnerable things to my Superman. I share vulnerable things. I share things that really um, let him know that I am in a safe place. So when um, he took a picture of me in front of my door and I'm like, this is it, like I'm done. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> like, what am I gonna do? Like, you know, I've, I've been literally homeless. If you don't know my story, I'll tell it in another video. And I'm like, you know, what happens if you get mad at me? And then he's like, <laughs> There's four other rooms for you to sleep in or you can sleep on a couch like it's so foreign to him with me thinking he would put me out it's it's just he can't even put his wrap his mind around it like one time I mentioned something like that and he looked at me like I was crazy I was kind of embarrassed so what is it that you need to share and small things don't don't share your whole life story up front I've made that type of mistake in the beginning but just just share some bits and pieces like I'll say um I won't go to the apartment and now you know, his responsibility and Thomas said I'm, I'm your responsibility and I told him I said you know at first um, I was a little scared and he was like, scared of what 
it's like, what happens if you don't want me here anymore? And he said, what do you mean? Like, this is for life. So there were certain things that I just needed to say to him and certain safe things he said back to me. And of course, yeah, I've said things to my therapist and he's helped me with um, just things that I was doubtful about. Like, okay, well, what needs to happen for you to feel like this? That's why I love therapy. The next thing with leaving the past is um, don't project. One thing that we often do is we project, um, especially in business, I've learned that I used to do it. I'd project that $5,000 a month was really expensive, but it's not if you're making, you know, five million, even a million dollars um, and you're getting a return on your investment. So don't project your challenges onto your relationship, onto your man, or he must be seeing that woman across the street because it's happened in your past. Hmm, no, nope, maybe he's just helpful. And I'll tell you many times, oftentimes men over 50 are really, really helpful, especially the real good ones. They're just, they're just phenomenal men. They're really, really good men. And there are good men in this world. And the next one is ask questions and observe is my paper. One thing I've noticed with my super band is when we're places, in terms of um, observations, if he sees an older couple, he's always commenting. He's, and I've noticed he's just always done, look at that older, look at that mom and pop older, grandma and grandpa growing old together. And I just noticed that he has like a fondness for that. So ask questions, things you're not certain of. Don't be afraid to ask. Um, we're older now, right? So we ain't nothing really to be hiding anymore. You know, if you wanna know about a former relationship, um, one thing I noticed is there were just there was a specific um, I'll just say situation that I noticed we had really never talked about. And I said, hey, I've noticed you never brought this up um, and dug a little deeper and understood some things. So those are just some helpful things for you in order to leave things in the past. I think I hear mommy getting up. She's hilarious. So let me run. Uh, thank y'all so much for watching my videos. This is more educational content. And my mission with this channel is to inspire, educate, and share. Um, it's not, I guess, really entertaining. I have videos with mil like literally half a million views when I'm doing my hair and stuff and making lipstick. But I guess <laughs> this is just content that I don't know. I just want it's not as appealing and I don't upload as often but I do want y'all to know the ones that do watch it that love over 40 does exist so you know who's going to be the spark to ignite the conversation I want to hear what y'all have to say I'm going to make more videos because I have a whole list I just haven't had the time all right as always ignite the spark who's going to be that one to do it I'll see you in the next video peace